Welcome everyone, I'm Matthew Cohen, and it's my honor to introduce David Wong. David is the founder of Chi Life. He's a best-selling author, an inspirational speaker, a visionary inventor, a martial artist, and a Qigong practitioner. After 10 years of suffering from a seemingly incurable disease, he self-healed in 90 days with frequency technology. His mission is to provide people with a simple, easy, and non-invasive way to heal that combines ancient wisdom with modern technology. Welcome, David. Thanks, Matthew. How are you doing there? I'm good. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, pleasure to meet you too. Yeah, so um, it's an honor to be here with the Shift Network. And um, yeah, I'm excited to share about my journey and my experience. Yeah, that piqued my interest for sure. Um, a decade of not feeling well and finding a way to self-heal through frequency technology is really interesting. If you could let people know what was going on, um, how you found your way to the frequencies, and for those that don't know, what is frequency technology? Right. So I had a chronic digestive disorder that's incurable. Uh, it's called ulcerative colitis. You can talk to all the conventional doctors and they say, there's no cure. And um, all they give is medication or surgery. Those are only two options. And a lot of times, none of that works either. So I, so the symptoms of this is that you bleed internally every day and you have pain in your stomach. And because you're bleeding, you're literally losing life force every day, every moment of your life. Uh, you can't focus, you have brain fog, you're irritable, and just it's just life is really shitty, okay? So I had that for 10 years of my life, and I basically just survived all those 10 years. I was depressed, I was unhappy, and I wasn't even able to focus on the work I needed to get done every day. I only had like an hour of real mental focus. So... That was my life until I started to um, get more into meditation. I had a friend who was a Sikh and he was really into meditation. He would meditate for hours, go on these retreats and stuff. And he'd come back and tell me about the experience and how amazing all these different uh, um, abilities he would gain from it. And I said, hey, maybe I should give this a try because I practiced Qigong. I practiced martial arts for 15 years. And I was always interested in, in meditation. And I was also growing up... Uh, I grew up and raised as a Christian. So I always believe in prayer and meditation and, and uh, higher forces and, and in the spiritual world. So then um, I started practicing what he, he uh, asked me to do. And then I just, you know, uh, felt that I was at a higher resonance. And then it just made me go deeper into this journey of, of uh, resonance and frequency. And I started to use some frequencies together with that practice. And I kind of combine all the things that I learned from Qigong and I kind of made my own meditation practice. And then from that, I read about how frequencies can be used with devices and technology. And then there's scientists uh, in Germany and China and actually over the last 80 years that have been using frequencies to heal people. So I said, hmm, maybe I'll um, experiment with some of this. So, uh, you know, from my engineering background, I kind of put together some, some coils and then I experimented with some of the frequencies. And then the purpose was just to get deeper in meditation. But what ended up ha happening was that I healed myself accidentally in 90 days because I was studying also Dr. Reif. Dr. Reif is a doctor uh, uh, inventor in the 1920s who invented the Reif machine. So he used a specific frequency to kill cancer cells. And he did a um, clinical study and he was able to heal 13 cancer patients from stage four cancer. And unfortunately, uh, he was presumably assassinated after that because obviously the big pharma doesn't want people to have a cure for cancer, right? But over the last 80 years, since he's invented that, many different other scientists have used what he's discovered and implemented into their devices. So I took those frequencies for my, uh, my issue, which is ulcerative colitis. And I say, hmm, I wonder if this would work. And it actually did. So 90 days later, no more symptoms, no more bleeding. I have so much and more energy. And it was that point in my life where it's just completely turned around. Yeah, man, that's a really interesting story. My brother had uh, Crohn's disease, which as you know, is very similar. And unfortunately he didn't, uh, he didn't make it. He actually passed away. 
and uh, I watched him go through a lot of a lot of pain. So I want to hear more about these frequencies and how it can help people. It's very interesting. And that's the work of uh, Royal Rife, yes? Yeah, Royal Rife. So um, to summarize my technology, basically I take in Dr. Rife's work and combine it with pulse electromagnetic fields and also combine it with a torus. So if you don't know what a torus is, is this shape. And you know many people like Joe Dispenza uh, and you know many people know that this is the shape of nature. If you take a look at an apple, the core and the seeds, they go around like this. You take a look at a galaxy, it goes around like this. This creates a magnetic field that's exactly the same shape. It's in a torus. So this is something called the Qi Coil Max. And so I combine those things and then I combine it with software. So software that makes it easy to use, you just select a frequency, all the frequencies, all the sequences in there, you press play and then you just sit back and you get the therapy. Now I'll get back to that in a second. So Dr. Royal Rife, uh, I combined those frequencies together with um, software and together with a torus to make non-contact uh, wireless and simple to use technology. So I call myself like the Tesla of Rife machines, right? Because there's so many rest machines from before, just like the Tesla car, there's lots of electric cars before, but nothing really caught on because nothing was really um, easy to use and intuitive to use and attractive and you know marketable, right? So I created the uh, cheek holes, which now are very popular because they're easy to use, they're effective, they're non-invasive, and they're contactless. Uh, old old rest machines, you would see these huge, you know gadgets that are like, uh, and you have to dial in the frequencies one at a time. So if you have a sequence, let's say for um, intestinal inflammation or for diabetes or something, it will be like 10 frequencies, right? So you would have to turn the knobs, dial it in the right frequency, flip on the switch and sit there for three minutes or, or a few minutes. And then when you go to the next frequency, you can dial it all over again. So it, it takes a lot of manual operation and to learn how to use it. So a lot of stuff like there, very difficult to use. So what I did, as I said, I've, I, you know, I've developed software for the last seven years. Why don't I just make a software and make it easy for people to, to, uh, to get this therapy uh, wherever they are. And you just literally turn it on, put it on your desk. It has a field, this has a field range of about 20 feet. You can put it on your desk, put it in the middle of a room and you can have many people in the same room. And as long as they're there within that field of energy, they will get the benefit from it. Yeah, that's fascinating. And um, if you're in that field, will this this will empower everyone in the room? Will it also work with like in Taoist Qigong, people used to empower water or they used to empower food. Will this also affect other organic matter? Absolutely. So we operate on all the same laws of, of the universe, right? The laws of the universe are energy, vibration and frequency. So in Qigong, I mean, that's what we're learning. We're learning to harness that life force we're learning to harness that frequency that energy that vibration and install it into our nervous system into our cells into our dna and then we're also learning how to project that to other people or even through you know infinite distances um this technology works exactly the same way it's the same laws right so you can use this to program water right uh, you can use this to you know charge the water and it just takes a few minutes and you can taste the difference and actually, you can, um, if you have a camera, you can actually uh, shine a light through the water and then see how much refraction comes of the light. Then you charge it with the coil and then take the picture again. You can see that there's more light refracting from the water after it's charged because it changes the, um, the, the properties of the water molecules. So that's pretty uh, interesting. And obviously, food has water in it. So you can literally just use this to energize your food, energize your water, and get it to any frequency that you want. So, and uh, the, the good part, like, as I mentioned, is it's non-contact. So you don't need to put anything in the water. You don't need any electrodes to connect to your skin, to your wrists or, or wires or anything like that. You don't need to lie down on the mat. You can actually carry this with you. Uh, for example, this is called the Chi Call Mini, which is our uh, entry level. I can just wear this on my neck have it connected to the wireless power supply. And I can be doing Qigong, I can be doing Tai Chi, I can be doing Kung Fu, Wing Chun, whatever, yoga. 
And this frequency is energizing me as I'm doing that. Yeah, that's great. So many of the things I've seen have been either very heavy or, as you said, you need a PhD basically to program them and it takes a long time. And I like the idea that it's contactless and it's portable and it's mobile. Also, do you have, it sounds like you have many ways to program not only for healing, but for augmentation, like you said, for meditation, for Qigong to amplify the system as a tonic. Yes. So since everything is frequency, well, you just need to decode what frequency of the uh, goal that you want to achieve, right? For, for me, for, for many people, let's say they want uh, healing. Well, we have over 10,000 of Dr. Royal's uh, rise frequencies in this software. So you can literally type in, let's say, you know, give me something. Crohn's disease, yeah. There we have several Crohn's disease frequencies right there. Let's say people are struggling with metal element issues or lung issues or asthma, grief. Lung issues, there we have many frequencies on with lungs and respiration right there. Fantastic. So, so literally you can just, um, you say lung, right? You just click one of these and then there are the frequencies, right? Can you see that? Yes. Okay. So that's only one frequency there, but let's say another one. And then there's this, that's the program, six frequencies. So you, so you press play and then now you have the frequencies playing through and that's it. You just sit there for 17 minutes, 17 minutes and 50 seconds. And that's your session right there. Are the, all the sessions a similar time, or did you figure out different times for different uh, frequencies and duration? Well, each program has a different number of frequencies, right? So depending on how many number of frequencies there are in the program, that's how long the program is. And a lot of people will ask, well, how long do you use it for every day? And, uh, you know, how often do you use it? Uh, you can use it from 30 minutes a day to uh, a couple hours. Depends on the energy sensitivity of the person. You know, in Qigong, right, some people are very sensitive, some people can't feel any Qi energy, right? So for the people that can't feel it, it takes longer, actually, for this to um, resonate with their body and their cells. Uh, for people who are very sensitive to Qi energy, like yourself or many people watching this, uh, this uh, webinar, um, you won't need as much because you are more receptive to it. Uh, for some reason, you are more sensitive to it and it works better for you and faster. Yeah, that's great. So people will feel it and they'll pay attention to it and get the benefits as needed. And you can use it as long as you'd like. There's no contra contraindications as long as you're paying attention, correct? Yes, yeah, so you can lose it as long as you like, as long as it doesn't give you um, too much of a detox effect. Because what happens when you, um, some side effects would be you get thirsty because it actually um, stimulates your adrenal glands to produce more energy. So you get more thirsty and you may get too much fatigue. So just the same as Herxheimer effects or, or what you call a healing crisis. If you detox too much, you'll get tired, right? So just take a break. Some people, they get excited. They turn this on, they get so much energy. So, well, I'm gonna use this all day long. And then the next day they're like so tired and fatigued because uh, they just over detox. Um, but what you, so basically as you're learning how to use this, you would use it um, just enough each day or maybe once every couple of days, depending on how much you need it. Um, and you would adjust the power according to what sensitivity you are. So if you're highly sensitive, then you will set it on low. If you're not that sensitive or you're less sensitive, then you set it on high. And you would know because your body will tell you. Yeah, absolutely. Do you have a, tell me a little bit about why you chose not only the color you chose, but does the color represent anything in relationship to the toric field? Because I like the colors. Um, I, I like gold, don't you? <laughs> I like gold too. <laughs> it, it actually matches your background there. So he's got like a gold and a white uh, theme. So um, I just feel white is a nice color for healing and gold is a color for abundance and prosperity and renewal. So I thought that it would be great to create this and it works very well. Uh, we have these ones that are copper. So if you're wondering what these are, these are actually um, treated copper wiring and these are uh, gold enameled copper wiring. So we do use copper. And if you study metaphysics, you know, copper has a lot of healing properties on their own. And, the, the, and for a good reason, because copper, one of the best um, conductors, that's why we uh, use that to create the electromagnetic fields. Another interesting thing uh, that we, you know, since we're in the Qigong summit is that our coils have yin and yang. 
So a lot of people, when I explain to them yin and yang, they have no idea what I'm talking about. I say, what, yin and yang, masculine and feminine, but you guys know exactly what this means. So in our, um, some of our systems, like the Qigong three systems, they come in yin and yang. If you look closely, they actually wound differently. And some people may say, okay, well, if you turn it around, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's the opposite. No, no, it's the same, see? It goes the same direction, you turn it around. So we have one's uh, counterclockwise, one's clockwise, and one's yin and one's yang. And this is something I discovered through my uh, meditation and just from experimenting the coils. So I say, well, what would happen if I wound this way and this way and combine it together? And I realized that, hmm, it actually feels different. The yin feels like more expansive and more relaxing and gentle. And then the yang one feels more like, uh, you know, focused and concentrated and like activating. Uh, it feels like you're anticipating something's about to happen. So let's call it yin and yang. And then later on, I was reading some like ancient, you know, texts that are translated into English and they talk about different aspects of yin and yang. And then I realized, whoa, I was on the right track. It's actually, that's exactly how yin and yang is supposed to feel like. So um, that just hit a light bulb in us. I was, I was really on the right track. And then, then I started experimenting using yin and yang together at the same time. And then what happens was you get this really calming, centering uh, effect or, or the effect of being in, in the void, like wu qi, right? Uh, and I was studying some other things like uh, uh, metaphysics. For example, uh, the, the palace in China and um, a lot of the uh, sacred temples, such as the, uh, the pyramids of Giza, the Stonehenge, uh, they are built on ley lines where the yin ley line uh, meets the yang ley line. So where, uh, you know, in, in the universe, wherever yin and yang intersect, that's where you have, uh, that's where you create, or that's the seed of creation. That is the, that is the source where source energy is created. So, I mean, I don't have like scientific proof of this, but from experientially, I think that with using the yin and yang coils together, it creates this pocket or this zero points where uh, it is like the um, source energy is created. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense to me. I know that um, many of the sacred consecrated sites on the planet are on supposed ley lines. Um, you're a musician, you know, Jimi Hendrix built Electric Ladyland supposedly on a ley line, which I think is fascinating. And I know in Bagua, if you're walking a circle and you're moving forward to the, let's say clockwise yang direction, and your mind is going back to Wuji, right? So your mind is going back to origin point. You're walking forward. It supposedly creates the still point, the zero point. So very similar to what you're talking about. It makes sense to me. And uh, I like the idea of the colors as well. I was always taught in Qigong to use rose gold or gold for healing when you bring down the veil in Qigong. So yeah, that's very interesting. Um, I wanted to also ask you in your when I was reading a bit about this idea of moving 1% a day forward, right, for growth and healing. And what I find fascinating about that is, you know, many people want to jump into 100% change, go to the gym, work out really hard, the next day they're sore, they quit, or they'll make a resolution and then fall flat because it's not titratable, it's not attainable. But 1% a day eventually is going to compound and it's going to hockey stick. And a little bit every day is going to allow people to get quite strong over time. And I wanted to hear more about your approach with this because I think that's a very sound approach. Um, yeah, I mean, we take a look at the uh, ancient uh, philosophies, um, you know, from Asia. It's all based on nature, right? So they, they, um, they liken the Qigong aspects or, or cultivation with, with trees or with water. Uh, there's a lot of um, analogies with that, right? So I think our health is in the same way. It's like growing a tree. So you can't grow a tree if it doesn't have roots and if, if you don't give it time, right? So a tree doesn't grow overnight. It takes many, many years to grow a very strong tree with deep roots and with uh, you know lots of branches. So in the same way, that's how we should cultivate our life force and that's how we should cultivate our health. Uh, a lot of people... Um, unfortunately, wait until they're sick before they do something, before they go to the doctor, get a prescription or get surgery or something like that. And that is not the best way to live because then you're always kind of um, 
living in survival mode. Uh, it's better to have to to cultivate your body in, in a way that um, makes it a little bit stronger every day, so that a year from now you will compound that strength and resilience. And you know, in in a few years, basically you're you're getting healthier as you age, and you're getting more resilient as you age. And there actually is a lot of science behind aging itself, showing that we actually technically don't have to age. If we have, um, if we give our cells nutrients and then detox and clear clear out the toxins, cells actually technically don't age. They they have this um, chicken heart or something in you see uh, in some college, uh, some university, and they've been keeping this heart alive for thirty years. It's a chicken heart. And all they do is just give it nutrients and clear out the toxins on a daily basis. Yeah. So I think eventually we're going to figure out that um, we don't have to age. And, um, and the key to that is to cultivate ourselves. The key to that is to make sure that our cells have enough energy and nutrients, um, which I'll explain, like not just um, molecular or chemis- chemical nutrients, talk about electromagnetic nutrients electromagnetic energy, because um, there's a German uh, biophysicist, his name is Fritz Albert Popp. He's also mentioned in many other books, like uh, from Joel Dispenza as well. Um, and he discovered that our body and our cells emit biophotons, uh, which are basically light particles. And the more these cell, our cells uh, emit this, the better they can communicate with each other. And actually our DNA communicates through these emissions of electromagnetic energy. So the dated kind of view model of how our body works is based on molecular, like molecules bumping into each other and colliding and creating chemical reactions. But actually that doesn't work that well. And now we found that um, what works a lot better is to actually use electromagnetic fields to interface with our body because that's exactly how our cells communicate with each other. So if you can figure out what the language of our DNA and our cells uh, are, then we can actually tell it what to do. We can send instructions to it. So that's exactly what frequency technology does. We know the frequencies. We don't have to figure it out because these are have been discovered over the last 80 years already. So we just plug in these frequencies. We know the frequencies to send instructions directly to your cells and DNA and change your DNA and uh, DNA expression or gene expression and uh, be able to transform yourself. And that's how we go back to the transforming cell one, one person a day. You can do this with meditation. You can do this with Qigong. You can do this with healthy living. You can do this with yoga. You can do it everything. That's good for you. But what technology does is it makes it easier. It makes it faster, okay? So many people, they say, or some people, they say, uh, okay, well, I don't need Qigong. Why do I need Qigong? I just do Qigong. That's true, but not everybody are like us. A lot of people, they don't have time. They're so stressed out. They work 16 hours a day. How much time do they have? They mean, they want to do Qigong, they don't want to meditate. They know it's good for them, but they just literally don't have energy to do it. So for them, this can help a lot because you just turn it on and you have automated Qigong, (laughs) basically. (laughs) Yeah, I like that because for people that don't have enough key for lack of a better word or energy to start a practice or they're depressed or they're anxious when they're in the field they're going to get a bump and when they get that boost they might just go you know what i have enough energy to go for a walk if they go for a walk they might start doing some standing meditation or wuji and then it grows from there so i like that idea quite a lot and um it also sounds to me like you're looking for almost a mother code you know i love when you talk about these frequencies, like Dispenza's work, Joe Dispenza's work is fascinating because to me, when you get in that place of no body, no time, you're in Wuji. And in a sense, when you're in Wuji, you're in a place where you're with like a mother code. And it sounds to me like you're working with this, this idea of finding these codes to unlock the human potential so that people can actually feel it. It becomes axiomatic. It becomes self-evident. Exactly. So I'm going to play this frequency. This is one of our... Um... Uh, frequencies it's free you can go to our website you can get this for free and it's very powerful it's called the opening frequency it's uh for pineal gland activation and since you're talking about that mother code this could kind of get help people to get into that state so if you don't mind i would like to play this for a minute and then we can all close our eyes and and meditate with this absolutely that sounds great okay
All right, so that is just a you know quick sample of one of our frequencies. So what kind of experience did you have? I felt first through heart center, almost like Anahata opening. And then I started to feel a vertical line getting into resonance and coherence, like um, coalescing of my energy. And a little bit more of a both simultaneous tonic, like sedation and elevation. Mm -hmm. And now it goes a little bit like things are open, more open, a little more clear. Right. Yeah, precisely. Uh, what a lot of people um, uh, report is that they can actually feel something in their head, mm. right? You can feel something like a very tiny vibration inside of your brain <laughs> uh, or like a massage of your brain somehow. Um, um, and, and they can feel like their vision getting brighter as well, right? I felt so, that for sure, like an uplift and then expansion. Yeah, exactly. So, and just think about what we just did. We just played a frequency for about two minutes there. And, and uh, you, you can feel and you can experience that shift in your state, in your, in your mind state. So that's just the sound frequencies. Now, what would happen if we use electromagnetic fields and we connect that into a coil? Well, that will actually give another layer of resonance, another layer of uh, uh, programming into your, into your body. So another neat thing about our technology is that we um, combine a few things, right? As you can tell, we combine the sound as well as the electromagnetic fields. So you can use both at the same time. So what we do is we have a splitter, right? The signal comes from, the frequencies come from either your phone, computer, or this tablet, right? We have 10,000 frequencies in here. And then it connects to the power supply and the power supply can be split up into the speaker I have here. And then the other one will be connected to the coil, okay? So we'd be connected to the coil. Where did I put the cable for that coil? Okay, it will be connected to the coil. So all I have to do is plug this in and now the coil is connected. So I have both sound therapy and magnetic field therapy at the same time. Now, pulse electromagnetic field PMF therapy was invented in the 1950s. And there's um, thousands and thousands of studies done on it to show what it can do, everything from like stress to um, uh, joints and arthritis, especially works well with uh, pain management. Uh, the top five things that people use our coils for that get like it's slam dunk every time is that pain management, stress release, uh, stress management and sleep and meditation and energy. So all those things. So just think about all the things that uh, you can benefit from, from doing Qigong you get the same benefits basically with uh, our chi coils. Yeah, that's great. I really like that, you know, mood follows action. And if you have enough action in the right way, you're gonna change your vibration because you have, what did you say? Thousands, 10,000 uh, frequencies. You really get to choose and be the architect of your day. It could go obviously to healing, but I think what's really interesting for me talking to you is it's um, kind of choose your adventure. You know, you can literally choose where you want to go and tap that frequency in. And uh, I think it's going to augment everything. So that's my, you know. Right. Earlier, you talked about the augmentation of our um, of ourselves, right? Um, so what happened after I healed myself was um, now I had all this energy. I had all this focus and all this, all this, um, you know, I just felt I had, I could do a lot. I just felt I can achieve a lot because... I had all these new creative ideas. I had all this um, abundance coming to me. And that's how I built this company. So now it's five years. We have like 20,000 customers and all around the country. Um, but what I realized that is that not only can this um, improve somebody's wellness, it can help you to become the best version of yourself. Uh, and you mentioned you choose your adventure, right? We actually have frequencies for ayahuasca, DMT, mushrooms, <laughs> uh, all, the, all the fun stuff, right? 
and and uh, you can experiment with those. And people love these because they play these, and they're like, "Oh, this is almost like taking the real thing." And the the way that we do it is very unique. Is because we actually take the molecular structures of these substances. Let's say DMT. Like we can look it up, and we plug it into our software because we know what the molecular mass are. We know what the um, the structures are, we know what the geometries are. And geometry is very important. And now they're discovering that um, they can create energy with just simple geometry. So we plug this into a computer and then we use an algorithm to create frequencies or extract the frequencies from it. And that's how we use, uh, that's how we create our frequencies. Yeah, strap in for that. That's very interesting. Um... <laughs> I think so many people now are struggling, especially since the pandemic with the anxiety, with depression. Uh, there's a lot of movement as you know, many people know now towards alternative ways of healing and things that work with plant medicine or ketamine or mushrooms. So um, I find that really interesting that you can do this in a, uh, a safe way and a way that people can be in a good set and setting and have a taste of what those things might be without the full dose and having to do a, a, a strap in, you know, Terrence McKenna dose. Mm -hmm. uh, that's very unusual, very interesting. And I yeah. think uh, where a lot of things seem to be pointing these days, you know, this balance between the ancient and the progressive, which I find so interesting as well. Um, that's quite unique. I think that separates some of, uh, you know, the work you're doing from other work right now. Mm -hmm. Well, it's my, my vision to heal the world together, because I think, um, you know, with this technology and with our intentions, we can do a lot. I mean, just imagine everybody, you know, every family household in the world that has a chi quill. It would just relieve a lot of stress and get rid of a lot of anxiety. It will solve a lot of problems. It will elevate everybody's resonance so that they can do the things that they want to do and be more um, good in other people's lives. You know, when, when the family is, is distressed with, with the trauma and, and stress and arguing or, or disease or lack of energy, it can't do any good, you know, within itself and, and in the world. But when you can get rid of all those problems and then raise the frequency of a whole family or a whole community, and then, you know, that can do, a, you know, huge changes in, in society itself. Yeah, people make poor choices when they have low energy or have low, whether it's low chi or finances or they're in pain. And when everybody gets elevated, you know, all ships do rise. So I absolutely agree with that. I think um, it's very interesting also that you're working with different sizes of coils because I could see, you know, a lot of this reminds me, it's like, um, you know, biomimicry, like you're working with nature, nature natural, sacred images, sacred geometry, and as they get larger and larger, it will affect a whole house. And it can affect, if you said each house has it, it can affect a whole block. That's what this one's for. So this is our chi coil aura, and it looks kind of small, but if you go back here, you can see how big this one is actually is. Right, I'm gonna actually bring it to the camera. So that's how big this is. Yeah, that's a big one. Beautiful, David. And this is designed for homes and for clinics. And we have many chiropractors that have this in their clinic now. And they're using it in their clinics um, with our frequencies and they're getting a lot of success. We just had somebody um, in one of the clinics who said they healed from fibromyalgia just from a couple of sessions with this. Wow, so that really reduces yeah. pain. Yeah, I like that idea for a clinic, a home or a studio. Um, it's, it's also, I know my dog, Tesla, uh, not the car, but the inventor, um, he's just had surgery. And I was looking at some of your work, researching this and looking into it. And my dog's very sensitive as many dogs are, you know, I can just literally emanate chi from a distance and she'll go to sleep. So I think I'll look into that for her because it sounds uh, very healing and she has scar tissue. So uh, could you tell me a little bit about your experience? Because um, many people are dog and cat lovers with animals. Hmm. Actually, I believe this works better with animals than even humans, uh, because animals, um, they are probably more sensitive to chi energy than we are, and because they're more in tune with nature and they don't have judgment. So uh, 
it works really well with with pets. Like we have people with cats and dogs and different kinds of animals, horses. Uh, it's very popular with them because they need something very strong. Uh, whenever people turn this on, it seems like the cats like to be next to it or the dogs just like to come and sleep next to it. Like they just feel the energy and they love it and they just want to be close to it whenever you're using it. And yeah, I've had um, my pets sometimes they, you know, spring their ankles or something like that. Uh, uh, and then put this on, play the frequency, and the next day they're they're perfectly normal. They're running around, jumping everywhere. Uh, I had somebody who had um, their dog bitten by another dog, so they had surgery and they had to do stitches. They used a cheek claw on them. The next morning, they couldn't find the scar. It healed that quickly on the dog. That's quite amazing. But that's why he told me. Um, so yeah, we have a lot of success with animals. Yeah, it's, it seems like also there's a there's a quickening because, as you said, they have no judgment. You know, animals don't get in the way like we do. They really get out of the way and they are receptive to love. They're receptive to vibration. And I see that working really well. That's a and, and um, you know, a lot of people really want to help their pets and really love pets. I think that's yeah, that's fascinating. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you also a little bit more about how this relates to meditation, because so many people in this audience are doing Qigong and meditation. And it feels to me like there's a quickening there with all of this work, because when, you know, in traditional Chinese medicine, they might say, if you're sick for a year and you do really diligent work with a practitioner, maybe it takes a month to heal. If you're sick for a decade, maybe it takes a year to heal. Mm -hmm. Sounds like in your case, and in many of the, uh, animals and what I've read from some of the people that have used the coils that there's a there's a quickening there uh a shortening and um I'm wondering if you see that with meditation as well this idea of the shortcut that there is a way to get into the meditative state a little bit faster for those that don't want to necessarily go to session or sit in a monastery or it may not have time for that yeah that's precisely what this can do it's a meditation shortcut so um I mean, when we learn to med meditate, we basically learning to train our thoughts, train our breath, train our relaxation uh, and awareness of where the energy, how it's flowing and so on, right? So, and, and be able to, to calm our minds to certain states into translate states and so on uh, and project energy and things like that. And that might take a, some time to learn. And some people are talented with it and they, do very well and they're able to do achieve a lot, but some people are not. Some people may take years to do some to, to learn and to effectively do that stuff. So what, what this technology does is it will basically be like training wheels for meditation because it gives you that mind state, right? Because instead of getting your brain, you know, learning how to get there, this gives you like the template and you know, uh, you know, as while I was playing that frequency, um, you know, you, you could feel that specific mind state that I gave, gave you, that specific body state. So if you combine your meditation with that, it's just going to be so much more powerful because now you know where you want to go, right? Because you got there already. It's like a map. So what these frequencies and what this technology do, it gets you in those states, give you those experiences, so that when you turn it off, now your mind kind of knows where it should be going and well, how it's supposed to be feeling when you do meditate and how, how, how fast you're progressing. So just that alone is gonna tremendously uh, accelerate some of these progress. Yeah, for sure. I think it's, um, you know, it's very important for a student, in my opinion, to have a teacher. You know, If you're doing Kung Fu, you have a Sifu or Shufu and they'll take you on the path. And of course, with meditation, I think that's important as well. But it's also really, in yoga, there's this idea of the satguru, the teacher within. And this is what I'm hearing from you, that once you get into the frequencies, you start to know the terrain and people become self-empowered. And that's so important these days. So I really like that idea. Um, I wanted to ask you what these days, like when you look ahead to frequency technology, either for yourself, your colleagues, where you see things going. Uh, what do you see down the line for frequency technology for humans? Well, I think there'll be a lot more conventional uh, acceptance and application and integration into the, the medical world. 
uh, especially with chiropractors or acupuncturists or uh, any kind of integrative medicine uh, practitioner, uh, because they're all looking for things like this. And they all already know that frequency is the future and uh, they've seen the results already, right? So when they see the technology, they say, oh, you know what, I, I had a dream about this <laughs> and this is, you know, about these coils and now you're showing it to me. So, um, so I see a lot more, um, you know, in, in the business sense and, in, in, you know, with the medical community starting to uh, integrate this into their practices. And as that happens, then as, you know, as their patients come and use them, then they're going to learn about it as well. Um, and I think that it's just going to be like a revolution, right? People are just sick and tired of taking more and more pills and just the allo uh, allopathic way of doing things, right? The me mechanistic way of a view of how our body works. It just no longer serves us anymore uh, because we can see how, how much sickness and disease is out there. And we can, you know, I mean, they, I mean, allopathic methods do have, does have its place, you know, to in, in certain times and in certain situations. But when you're talking about long-term longevity and health, the best way is to cultivate and the best way is to, is to grow that tree 1% a day or grow that life force 1% a day. That's, that is the true long-term solution. So I see people realizing that and getting results from this. We have these free frequencies. You can try them. If you go to use the chi, right.com, you can download these frequencies or use our app and start experiencing this for yourself and seeing the changes. Then you're going to have a taste of what uh, this technology or what these frequencies can do. And from that point, then kind of opens the door for you, opens the door, uh, you know, opens the path, shows you the path to where you can go from there. Yeah, that's great. It's like a portal. I like that. And I yeah. think um, you're correct. As people get used to this and understand it, it's going to really blow up. And I also think that as, uh, as we keep moving down this path, I could see it moving into nanotechnology. I can see it moving, you know, smaller and more powerful and also larger. It's, it's quite interesting. Um, and I'm sure you're working on that by the size of the coils I see behind you. I think in the future, um, I actually have a technology that I've been working on that has to do with artificial intelligence too. So my vision is that now, right now you have, you know, which is very convenient, it's very convenient to select the frequencies and all that. But in the future, what's going to happen is the AI will know what you need or your AI will know what you feel. And then it will just select the frequency for you and send it to you without even you uh, doing any um, interface with it. Yeah, it'll be interesting cooperation there, right? Exactly. So, so you're always getting the optimal frequency that you need for that day or that moment, right? Yeah, so that's, that's something, one of my, my vision. We're not there yet, but we're getting close because we have the technology to do it. Yeah, it'll move quickly. Yeah. We've given us a lot of time and a lot of generosity. I just have a couple more things before we wrap this up. If you have a moment, I wanted to ask you, um, like, what are you on the scent of right now? What excites you personally, um, either in your personal practice or with family, friends, with your work? What what is uh, what's exciting to you right now? Well, I think in you know my personal journey is exciting because um, I see myself getting stronger and see myself becoming more effective every day and making more of a difference in the world every day. And the second thing is seeing other people doing the same thing, seeing people uh, healed, seeing people who have these chronic incurable diseases being healed. That's what really excites me, right? Uh, there's a, you know, a, a woman in California, she has uh, endometriosis and she couldn't even get out of the bed. She was bedridden for years. And um, she started using my coils and after a few months she got out of bed and now she's like a perfectly functional, uh, um, active person. It's like never, nothing ever happened. Um, and she was so sick that she couldn't even lift the phone to call the doctor before. And I met her when I was down in uh, LA and she's thanking you so much. She said, thank you so much, David, for saving my life. So that's, that's what really motivates me. That's the real driver, right? Seeing my own you know, transformation and seeing the transformation in others. Yeah, I can hear that in your heart, man. That's uh, that got me too. I think that's a real, you know, that's priceless. When you change or help someone change like that, uh, there's really no, no value you can put on that. Um, also, 
Where can people reach you if they want to learn more, if they want to go a little bit deeper into this work, if they want to experience this? I know I will reach out to you. I'm very interested in the coils. It's fascinating to me. So where can people find you? Right. So I have um, a link wall. It's called use the uh, Use the chi, like use the force. <laughs> <laughs> So on there is all my social profiles. You can uh, get those free frequencies that I mentioned, uh, and you can learn about the chi coils. You can uh, go into my documentaries and can uh, you can get my book. I also wrote a book called The Life of Chi, The Science of Life Force. So if you want to um, get my perspective on you know the science and the you know research done on chi energy, as well as how I combine it with the ancient uh, technologies and ancient wisdom then you definitely need to read that book. It's on Amazon as well. So go to use the chi.com, use the qi.com. Excellent. And any final thoughts before we? I'm glad to be here. And I thank you uh, for allowing me to share this uh, wonderful experience and opportunity. And yeah, I'm looking forward to doing more. Me too. Thanks for your time, David. It's good to meet you. Thank you. Thank you folks for joining us with the Global Qigong Summit. I hope you enjoyed that conversation with David Wong. I learned a lot and I'll see you next time. Thank you.